On today's video, we're talking Luminar 4.2. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. And like I said in the intro, we are talking Luminar 4.2. Now, I just got this email a couple days ago and I really hadn't had a chance to play with the software yet except for a little bit this morning. And basically because I'm an affiliate with them and I use their software, they sent me a link to get the updated version before it's released on March 19th, a day after my birthday. So what this does is not only do we have, uh, I got to go back because I can never remember them all, not only do we have the AI enhanced, the AI structure, the sky replace which was huge when it came to my real estate photos or anybody that does any type of landscape stuff because you can change out the whole feeling of a photo by replacing the sky in what used to take me hours, well maybe not quite hours, but I can do it now in like 30 seconds and it's really good. There's only been a, a few occasions where it hasn't worked like I thought it was going to because the clouds were really white and there was a uh, lighthouse I was taking a picture of because it was white. The AI had a hard time separating the uh, lighthouse from the uh, sky. So what they added to the sky replacement, which was already awesome, and we're gonna jump on the computer here in a second so you can see it in action, is in AI augmented sky. Let's go jump on the computer and check this stuff out. Now that we're on the computer, let's uh, fire up Luminar 4 here. And this is actually Luminar 4.2, as you can see right here, 4.2.0. Now this does not come out again until March 19th. So if you do want a copy of this, you can buy it now through the link in the description and then it will update on the 19th. And, uh, Let's just blow this up here. So let's take a look at, oh, we'll use this photo, right? Let's take a look here. Let's use uh, this photo here. Now, we're going to go over to edit. So a lot of the same things are going to be there, you know, your essentials, right? And you got your AI enhance, your AI structure. Those are the ones that are going to really change stuff. This one here, I think I already had changed it at one point with the background for the sky. I can't remember if this is actual one that I had done before. So here's your sky replacement. Now remember this one was really easy to use. And there you go, it's got a new sky in it, right? That's been the uh, the sky replacement. So let's just say we wanna do a starry night, right? Now that's a little much, uh, <laughs> that's a little too much. Let's do, let's see how this one looks. Still a little over the top for me. Let's see if we can do like a, Sunset. Sorry if you guys are hearing a ton of noise in the background. It's just because I have the windows open in the house because it's like 70 here in Connecticut today. All right, so we're just going to leave it with this guy and we'll play around with the AI augmented sky. So as you can see, you have some advanced settings, some masking, amount, warmth, re uh, light, uh, and then you're going to have place object. So let's just say we want to go with Aurora. So there's the Aurora from uh, Alaska. It's not really working for me. Let's see what we have for birds one. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of birds in the sky. So let me pull in. So there's all the birds flying. So, you know, obviously if you zoom in, it's going to look a little, little funky um, because it's not made to be zoomed in like that. But now let's say we want to move the object around. We can move the object wherever we want it. So, all right, this isn't that great of an example. I literally just downloaded this this morning and have been playing with, let's say I want to add some more clouds. So there's a cloud here I want to add. So if I had a completely blue sky, let's go like this, sky replacement, blue sky one. That's going to have clouds in it already. If I have anything without clouds. Uh, so say like we want to do something with those clouds there. There's, you know, uh, You know what? I don't even like that. Let's go back. Sorry, folks. Doing this on the fly here. Uh, just thought it was really cool to see everything. So let's just move this object around. So we can move these sets of clouds wherever we want behind the object. It's going to stay in the sky. Now, let's say we want to do uh, fireworks. Let's say it's the 4th of July. We want to do some fireworks coming over the house. We can make them bigger if we want. We can make them smaller. 
this software is going to cut down your editing time in at least half, if not more. So thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave your comments down below. And I really, truly look forward to seeing what you guys are going to do with Luminar 4.2. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.